So I have my handy tools. I have my sharp pencil that I learned you hold kind of loosely like this. I wanted to go in like I'm filling out a Scantron. That's not the way to do it. You gotta loosely go like that. Generally, in an early stage of your drawing, uh, it's good to hold your pencil not like you're writing with oh. it, but in your hand like this, mm -hmm. so that you can use your whole arm okay. to draw instead of for... getting sucked into small details. Okay. Yeah. I'm like terrified to put a mark on the page. <laughs> <laughs> Just go for it. You can always erase. Okay. <laughs> Overall, um, I would reinforce straight lines as you're sketching in the early stages because okay. they're kind of easier to see what's wrong than a curve. So okay. if you can use your pencil, hold it out, uh, keep your arm straight whenever you're measuring or comparing angles, okay. um, and stand exactly where you're standing for your drawing. So then you can compare here to here. And really, your angle looks pretty good. I'm seeing this yeah. looks great. She looks one-legged, I'll have to fix that. You're getting a good sense of the torso and even the leg bending underneath mm -hmm. the other one. Yeah, it's a tricky pose because it yeah. gets foreshortened from both ends. It's, it's complicated, but it's also kind of soothing. There's an interesting sort of zen feeling to it. Because it's a reclining pose, we want to feel like she's on the ground. We want to mm -hmm. feel a sense of connection with what she's resting on okay. so that we start to feel like she's on something flat. Okay. And then it starts to make more sense, the positioning of the body. Yeah. I like that my sketch looks like a person. You can tell I'm trying to draw a reclining human being. Um, so definitely, I'm pleased with that. I'm nervous about details, about uh, making the face have an expression <laughs> that isn't a stick figure face, so I'm a little nervous about that. But yeah, I like that I feel like I've gotten the rough shape. I wish I could stop here and call it abstract, but we gotta keep going. Generally, I feel like this is more like an idea of what we think a head looks like. <laughs> yeah. Kind of like if you were to draw an eye and you, you know, you're thinking it, it just almond. looks like yeah. this. But um, especially from this perspective, it's gonna look totally different. So um, just starting with the geometric shape will help kind of get rid of that first assumption of yes. what the head is supposed to look like. So was this your first My drawing very, class? very first drawing class. I'm very impressed. Really? Yes. Oh, that's exciting. Yeah, <laughs> this, is, this is an awesome start. The figure is really hard to start with because as you found out, there's a lot of elements to negotiate. I think that you would feel very encouraged if you had a simpler subject. But your drawing is not easy. I didn't expect it to be, but it was definitely challenging. Um, it's helpful to have someone really talented walking you through it. That is definitely a bonus. But what I think is great about it is it's something you can do at home. You can do on your own. You don't need a lot of equipment. And you can just kind of start doing it. And the more you do it, the better you're going to get. I learned that just even here in the two hours I took the class. I felt like I got a little bit better. So my drawing looked like a person. That made me happy. And it was a lot of fun. My mom better put this on her fridge because it's amazing. <laughs>